welcome to e lecture so my name is sanjeev reddy i'm working as assistant professor of mathematics <coughs> so now i'm going to deal the subject mathematics one so in that uh, the topic is applications of first order uh, first order differential equation so first of all you have to know what is the ord uh, ordinary differential equation how it is so that is the equation is in the form of dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y so this is the first order differential equation this is the first order differential equation now we are going to deal the uh, so where we can use this first order differential equations here in real life and as well as uh, engineering and physical sciences in engineering and physical sciences so we have lot of applications uh, we can solve so many problems by using uh, this uh, first order uh, ordinary differential equations so in that one in that one the main topic is so newton's law of cooling newton's law of cooling law of cooling newton's law of cooling so in this one we have the meaning newton's law of cooling cooling so in this subject how we are using this first order differential equations so that is so for example if you take a cup of coffee a cup of coffee so initially it has uh, initially it has the temperature of that one is what 30 degree celsius if you put it if you put it uh, in uh, stove or in fridge so after 10 minutes the temperature may be decrease or increase it depends upon the surrounding medium where we can place the cup of coffee or uh, temperature okay no so that means so if we put it in fridge so after 10 minutes after 10 minutes so it will be decreased to 10 uh, degrees celsius 10 degrees celsius if you put it in on the stove so that is nothing but what so it will be the increase to 40 degree celsius so now the statement of this newton's law of cooling is so the rate of change of the statement is statement is so the rate of change the rate of the rate of change of the rate of change of temperature of your body temperature temperature of a body a body is proportional to proportional to proportional to the difference between the the difference the difference between the temperature of body the temperature of body the temperature of body and surrounding medium surrounding medium surrounding medium so here surrounding medium may be anything whatever it may be it may be a uh, room or it may be uh, what we call air anything so this is the statement of the uh, newton's law of cooling so that is the rate of change of uh, temperature of your body is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the body and surrounding medium so now how we are uh, how we are using ordinary differential equations in this in this statement so let the temperature of the body let the temperature of a body is theta and and surrounding medium temperature and surrounding medium surrounding medium temperature medium temperature is theta naught then then we can write so then we can write the rate of change of temperature of a body that we can write it as d theta by dt d theta by dt is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the body and surrounding medium that is nothing but what theta minus theta naught theta minus theta naught so this is nothing but what d theta by dt is proportional to theta minus theta naught and we can write it as so d theta by dt is equal to plus or minus k into theta minus theta naught theta minus theta naught but we are saying it as what the application for what newton's law of cooling that means the temperature always will be decreased always will be decreased so that's why here we can use minus k only d theta by dt is equal to minus k into theta minus 
theta naught where k is k is constant k is constant proportion, uh, proportional constant so then it is nothing but what first order differential equation it is nothing but what first order differential equation now we have we know how to solve a first order differential equation now how to solve a first order differential equation so by using the variable separable method we can solve this one that is d theta by theta minus theta naught is equal to minus into k minus k into dt so integrating on both sides integrating on both sides now you will get so now integrating on both sides that is so log of theta minus theta naught is equal to minus kt plus some log c let us take it as what constant so now we can write so that is theta minus theta naught by c is equal to so e power minus kt so theta minus theta naught is equal to c into e power minus kt theta is equal to theta plus c into e power minus kt so let the initial temperature of the body is initial temperature of the body of the body is so theta 1 then that is time is equal to t is equal to 0 so from equation 1 from equation 1 so we can write theta is temperature is nothing but what theta 1 so we can write theta 1 my e plus theta naught plus c into <coughs> c into e power 0 e power 0 e power 0 is 1 so from this one c is equal to theta 1 minus theta naught so by substituting the theta value in equation 1 from equation 1 we can write from equation 1 so theta is equal to theta naught plus c is nothing but what theta 1 minus theta naught into e power minus kt so this is the formula which uh, which will gives the temperature at any time temperature at any time here the parameters are t is the uh, theta is the temperature of a body and the theta naught is the so surrounding median temperature and theta 1 is the uh, initial temperature theta naught is the surrounding temperature and t is the time if you know the time we can find out the temperature at some particular particular time if you know the temperature so you can find out the time also so this is the application very useful application of ordinary differential equation in engineering and as well as uh, physical sciences so thank you